The maternity ward at University Hospital Coventry. Mother Maria and five-day-old baby Leo are doing just fine. But for thousands of other mums and babies in the UK, the story is very different. During the later stages of their pregnancies, these women develop preeclampsia, and the consequences for them and their babies can be devastating. What the disease can, is normally associated with is hypertension and protein in the urine. However, it can progress to seizures. It can then lead to liver failure, renal failure, pulmonary edema, which can ultimately result in the death of the mother. For the baby, it can cause growth restriction, and if the blood pressure is uncontrolled, it can lead to a situation where the placenta shears off the wall of the uterus, causing abruption can, that can cause stillbirth, which is obviously fatal for the baby. Can you put that into context? How many women and how many babies are affected? Preeclampsia affects around about 8% of pregnancies worldwide. Uh, those 8% those aren't all as severe as this, and what you would expect is that uh, the bulk of those would be caught early. However, there is a significant number of women uh, dying each day worldwide as a consequence of this disease. But despite the high risks and the high numbers of women and babies involved, currently doctors have no clear and definite method of diagnosing preeclampsia. They have to rely on making a best guess based on whether or not a woman is showing symptoms such as high blood pressure, water retention and protein in the urine. But thanks to the work of researchers at the University of Warwick's spin-out company in Centec, all that looks set to change. Incentive was set up um, in April 2004 when we were incorporated. A man who came to me some six months prior to that date to say Sige, that, that we could maybe develop a diagnostic test for preeclampsia. And the story has pretty much continued from there that we've applied for grants um, to employ scientists as you see behind us and have raised to date a million pounds. We know that the disease is caused by the placenta because placental delivery cures the disease. And the theory is that something from the placenta is secreted into the maternal circulation that causes these problems. So what we've done is we've uh, isolated uh, placental uh, biopsies from patients who have the disease and patients who don't. And we've used a, a system by which we use laser capture microdissection to cut out the pieces of the tissue that are in direct con uh, contact with the mat uh, maternal blood. We've then done microarrays on those and are now searching for those markers of which we identified 103 in maternal blood samples. We're currently in the discovery phase. We have a development plan for the discovery phase which will take in the region of 14 to 18 months before we can then move on to trial and validation of those markers. So how helpful is it going to be to get this early diagnosis of preeclampsia? If we could find the biomarkers that we're looking for it would be fabulous, it would change how pregnancy and mother and baby are looked after in today's NHS. And so is this test going to be routinely offered to all pregnant women? Absolutely. There's um, no question about it. As long as our science and our discovery phase goes well, we are confident that the company will produce biomarkers which will be commercialised into a diagnostic test. In Centec plan to run clinical trials for the test in 2008, bringing the product to market in early 2009.